May 18th. We're out here at the Grand Canyon. We're gonna do rim to rim. May 18th, 2024. 23 and a half miles. NK to BA. North Kaibab to Bright Angle. It's 36 degrees, it's freezing. It's supposed to be 96 at the bottom. Supai Tunnel. Supai. About two miles in, the light is finally coming in. It's pretty cool to see down there. Bunch of people on this hike. It's 51 degrees. It's about 2.75 miles in. And I don't know how much down, but it's by, I would think a couple thousand feet is down. That's where we came from. North Rim. A little painful on the joints. First bridge. About 3.4 miles, hour and 26 minutes. So it's almost 5:30 a.m. There's a lot of people when you do this trail, but it's still pretty much. It's not that bad. People move out of the way so far. Can't even see to the bottom. It's almost hard to see how deep that canyon is. I don't know if they got some bottom. Roaring Springs, I think. About 4.8 miles in, two hours, so it's about 6 a.m. Rolling along. 64 degrees. We have 5,545 feet of elevation gain. Almost 3,000 feet down. Hasn't been too bad. The 
And there is the first shot of the sun. Right after Manzanita. There's the south rim, first view of the south rim. About another 17 miles. 640, we're about six miles in, 6.3 or so. So I had a sun hat that my mom got me and I forgot it. This is the camp Cottonwood campground. Water is non-functional. Bathroom. I'm gonna skip. It's almost seven o'clock, then almost three hours into Cottonwood. Start at four. Four thousand feet. All my data is coming off my coros, so it's not totally accurate. Oh, about a third, a third of the way done. Eight miles. We're at 3,800 feet, we started at 8,200. So 4,400 feet. 717. We just got the sun. There it is. About three and a half hours in. About 9, 20. Hit the sun, or not 920, 720. So the sun hit right at Ribbon Falls, right there as the Ribbon Falls turn off. Okay, that was about three minutes of sun, back in the shade. Water's bubbling out of the ground. So the water pipe's on the trail, that's where it was coming out, it broke. It's under the trail, there's a water pipe. On mile 10. It's a pretty lush section of the trail. Looks like we're heading into the box. So like mile 10 and a half. Don't know how accurate that is. But it's been four hours, five minutes, so it's about eight o'clock. Cruising along, nothing too major. Kind of twisted my ankle a little bit, but it's fine. So what I read is try to get through the box by 10. I think I read that which looks like pretty good chances. Awesome. Wow. Grand Canyon. That's nice park. The box.
Cool. This is pretty cool. This is the coolest part of the hike. As you can see, the sun is going to almost be here. Four and a half hours. About 11.87 miles. 3,048 feet. It definitely doesn't drop as fast with the last few miles. Could be the end of the sun. I think we're getting close to Phantom Ranch. My GPS says 12.7 miles right now. It's also 79 degrees. Oh, more shade. It was 36 when we started. It's 43 degrees. Pretty intense how high these walls are. We're now at 2,900 feet. Sometimes when you're hiking, you gotta turn around. Get all the views. We're still in this shade sun mixture. Get another bridge. There's been quite a few bridges. All right, 14.8 miles for my GPS. We are at the one and only infamous Phantom Ranch. Five hours and 18 minutes. I think this is Bright Angel Campground. About 93 degrees, almost 9.45. Leaving the old Phantom Ranch. Another famous trail junction from North Kaibab. So this is the go to go to South Kaibab to the left, Bright Angel to the right. And since this is our first time, we're gonna do Bright Angel. Be safe. Chopper in the canyon. Uh, 
Got a crazy uh, chopper down here. Finally made it to the river. GPS saying 2,539 feet. Exactly six hours. Since 4 a.m. I'm showing 15.64 miles. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Heart of the Grand Canyon. Silver Bridge. Oh, hell yeah. Check it out, it moves. Check this out. Be afraid of heights. Oh, it smokes. Uh oh. Passing. Colorado. Starts up there. Rocky Mountain Park. Now all the way here. Oh. Okay, if you're not afraid of heights, don't look down. I'm not looking down. See that chopper, he's about to take off. This is about the center of the river. The chopper took off. You can see him way out there. It's just going to the left. He's now out of view. Here's the sand. It's a little easier, I think, if you walk on the side of the sand than in the middle. It's a pretty nice walk along the river. It's 92 degrees. Not too many people out on this side. I don't know if it's because it's 10.30. Everyone's hiding out. I got down here by 10. Who knows? About a mile from Supai Gardens, Indian Gardens. And I wouldn't charge, so I finally got it charged. But I am yeah, a mile away from there, so I don't even know how many miles in I am at this point. My watch says... 19.3, but it's not right. Only at 3,300 feet. That was bitch because it's hot. It was like it was 100, 100 in the sun. My sensor said. Right now it's some in the shade here. It's cool, and there's a little breeze. Thank God. But we gotta go. And that rest really helped. Sometimes the trail's a little sandy. Travel at your own risk. 
Down is optional, up is mandatory. After nine hours, I'm leaving uh, Indian Gardens. Eight hours, 50 minutes. This is gonna be the hardest part. That water was just installed this winter. Three miles left. I haven't videoed in a while. I think it's two and a half miles left. Psych is 100%. No joke. I threw up. Back there, I felt a lot better since then. Holy crap. So I came all the way, all the way there. Holy smokes. It's a condor. Walter McCown, 10 foot wingspans.